The 21st century space race is here, and in the midst of it all is a battle of the billionaires. On one side, you have Elon Musk, CEO and founder of SpaceX, and on the other, Jeff Bezos, CEO and founder of Blue Origin. Both are in a race to make space travel more affordable. And as each company continues to grow and expand, that race is heating up. Where did this all start? How, why are these two titans of the new space industry clashing together? This goes way back uh, many, many years, actually to the point where they were not even conflicting at all. In 2004, they had dinner together and they were not really enemies at all. Um, they just sat down and they talked shop. They talked about rockets. Well, how are you gonna do this? How you know that? Well, this is how we're doing it. Here's how I wanna do it. Then again, things were different in 2004. Both SpaceX and Blue Origin were relatively young companies. Neither had launched anything into space. And in fact, neither company even had a functioning rocket yet. But fast forward many years after their systems started coming together, and what you start to see is some rivalry, some big rivalry. One of the biggest flare-ups started in 2013 over the historic launch complex 39A. After the space shuttles retired in 2011, NASA wasn't using the launch pad. And so they open it up for anybody who wants it. SpaceX steps up to the plate, says, we want that for our rockets. Look at them over here, they're launching into space, they're delivering useful things into orbit. We'd like to use that as a point of operation. Right after they did that, Blue Origin, Jeff Bezos' company, comes in and says, we want that pad too. Bezos even went as far as filing a complaint with the government to prevent SpaceX from getting that launch pad. And Elon Musk gets really mad about this and he says, that's a phony blocking tactic. Uh, this is just kind of a bunch of BS. Safe to say the feud was officially in full swing. Ultimately, SpaceX won signing a 20-year lease for pad 39A in 2014. Then, later that same year, the two billionaires were added again, this time over patents. Bezos had filed a patent for the technology to build reusable rockets, a tactic that could have earned him millions of dollars from competitors who aimed to use similar technology. But when Musk found out about it, he stepped in. And as part of his fight against this patent, because Musk wanted to do the same thing and he didn't want to have to shell out gobs of money uh, to Blue Origin, his competitor, to, to use this concept, was he summoned this very old, I think, Russian uh, science fiction movie showing a rocket coming down and landing on a boat. So that was used, I think, as evidence to sort of put the kibosh on this patent. And ultimately, SpaceX prevailed. By the end of 2015, the feud had made it to the world stage. Of course, I'm talking about Twitter. In November, Blue Origin launched and landed its suborbital rocket for the first time. Jeff Bezos is really excited. He goes on to Twitter and says, this is the rarest of beasts, a used rocket back on the ground. To which Musk congratulates uh, Bezos online, but he also takes the opportunity to sort of take a whack at this accomplishment by saying, eh, it takes about 100 times more energy to do what we're trying to do, which is launch a payload into space and bring the booster back. That's, that takes 100 times the energy, so great job, but we're, we're gonna try this over here. And that's exactly what SpaceX did a month later. So this created some friction. This is one of the first very public feuds between Musk and Bezos, and it kept happening. So by 2019, the number of confrontations had reached a record high. At a private lecture in New York City, Bezos criticized Musk's goal to colonize Mars. He said, my friends who want to move to Mars, I say do me a favor, go live on top of Mount Everest for a year first and see if you like it, because it's a garden paradise compared to Mars. Shortly after that, Musk went after Bezos for announcing Blue Origin's plan to launch thousands of satellites into space for faster, better internet worldwide. The problem is Musk had previously announced that called Starlink uh, years before, and it's 12,000 satellites. And so he called Jeff Bezos a copycat in front of everybody. That was a big moment. And not long after that, there was another tweet from Musk about Blue Origin's latest announcement to return to the moon on its Blue Moon Lander. Musk couldn't help himself. He chimed in with some childish humor uh, by saying, this is a terrible branding choice when you're putting blue on a giant ball. <clears throat> wow. 
But in the end, it doesn't really matter which of them is first to go to the moon or first to set up a colony beyond Earth. Behind the scenes, their visions aren't all that different. They both want to preserve the Earth. They both want to move humanity out into space where we can have a bigger, bolder future than we would otherwise by just sticking to the surface of a rock.